Hello Libra, the Awakened Dreamer here. To give you your general monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of March 2021, I am so excited to do your reading. So thank you for joining me and um, keep in mind, or rather I'll take this moment to remind you to like this video, leave me a comment, and do subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't already. And when doing so, don't you forget that little notification bell. And when meditating on your energy overall for the month, I should say your beautiful energy in regards to the subject of money and career, of course, the message that came through was you even surprise yourself. You even surprise yourself, Libra. I absolutely love it. Let's Get started by pulling a message or two from the Energy Oracle deck. And uh, keep in mind, general monthly reading for the sign of Libra. Take what resonates, uh, leave what doesn't, and check out your other placements for more messages, my friend. To begin for our lovely Libra in this morning, career March 2021. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have to begin this reading? I think we have one more. Actually, I wasn't going to show this, but we have man holding a heart that came out. And I feel like, you know, maybe your love life is somehow wrapped up in your career throughout March. But what this is coming through as male or female, genders irrelevant, is it, you're putting your heart and soul into your work this month. And it feels like you're kind of speaking, a lot of you are speaking from the heart, getting your voice out there, which naturally leads me to the community card. And I feel like you're destined to help a community, uh, whether it's online, whether it's in person, you name it. Your own community or um, a community you sort of developed in a, some way, shape or form, leaving you feeling fulfilled and, and good within because you're helping other people. Wow. It's truly a, a, a feeling that your voice, Libra, needs to continue or needs to start getting out there for the world to hear. Love it. I mean, no surprise, you are a Libran. And then we have Goddess of... Actually, we'll do Action. And I'm going to pull a clarifier card on this. Um, oh, no, we're not. Spirit doesn't want me to. They're just saying it is not a time to stop, my friend. It's time for you to take action towards your success, towards your um, financial uh, uh, success, your financial abundance, excuse me, financial comfort. It just feels like it's going to be a busy month for you. Uh, door to spirit. So they're reminding you to trust spirit, trust the universe this month. Trust where you're being led. Trust the opportunities that you're guided to. Trust that they see how things are meant to unravel, even if you fully can't at this time. They're saying change is good, accept that as well. However that pertains to you. Goddess of the Moon. There's a feeling that a lot of you Libras who are drawn to this uh, monthly reading are spiritually connected. And if you don't feel so, you're getting more spiritually connected throughout this month. There's also a manifestation vibe coming from this card where some of you manifest, you know, with the moon, you know, doing moon work in order to bring your successes towards you. And there's a feeling that with all the successes that come to you and you experience this month throughout your career and finances, leave you glowing, leaving you feeling like you have the world in your hands. That's how that's coming through, interestingly enough. Wow. To be a Libra. Let's continue and pull uh, six tarot cards, a simple six card spread, if you will, for our lovely Librans. Thank you, Spirit, to continue this monthly money and career reading for March. March 2021. Hmm. What else do we have? Thank you, Spirit. And we're going to pull the last spirit from the top for you. Or for us, because I should mention, I'm a Leo Libra Libra, if you are brand new to this channel. So your readings not only resonate with me, but I understand you, my friend. I truly do on a soul level. You don't have Libra twice in 
your chart for your moon and your rising without understanding them. Anyways, uh, two of cups to begin. So you start the month of March, my friend, and in comes a connection. This is a new one. And remember I was saying, it's best out the door to spirit. Remember I was mentioning, trust where spirit's leading you. Whether it's two new opportunities, new people, you name it. It's all to kind of move you towards your destiny, towards the success you deserve at this time. I mean, it feels like this is one of those opportunities, one of those connections that they are saying, it is meant for you, my friend. Trust it. Remember, change is good. Let's clarify it a bit. Let's clarify this two of cups for our lovely Libras. Thank you, spirit. And remember, it doesn't have to be love. I mean, with the man holding a heart, it definitely, there's a potential it could be um, love through your work, but we'll see. Oh. Change of plans, change of story. Okay, guys. So the beginning of the month, there's going to be a connection that either comes back from the past or you have in your life at this time. Remember we were saying change is good? There's a connection that you're going to have to walk away from at the beginning of the month. You're going to have to sail away towards bigger and better things. And I feel the need to tell you to watch the Leo reading. I was mentioning in that too, at one point, not to feel guilty about leaving people, places, and situations behind as you make your way to bigger and better things. And I'm going to say right off the bat, it, for some of you, it's look at the Queen of Pentacles coming out. It's all out of respect for your future, your finances, your career, your success, your fame and fortune that a lot of you Librans I know desire and are destined for in your lifetime. And so what I'm going to need you to do at this point is go on down below, comment, show me some Libran pride as always, like I did in the last uh, weekly, and claim that fame and fortune. Speak it or type it into existence. And it's yours. Well, I have to say this fame and fortune that you're, some of you are heading towards can be overwhelming. I just got very... <clears throat> Ooh, a little bit nervous, but it's something you're going to have to adjust to as you're meant for success and fame and fortune and all the good things in life because you're a Libra. The High Priestess. Wow, I didn't expect that. Yeah, you're going to have to leave somebody behind at the beginning of the month. Always trust your intuition, but there's a feeling that that is going to happen. Trust in spirit. So the High Priestess. So you make your way to the middle of the first half of the month and you are getting more in touch with your higher self, with um, your spirit guides. feels like you may become more spiritually connected at this point. But you're getting intuitive hits, downloads about your future, about how much success you're destined for. Uh, maybe some more clarification um, uh, or confirmation that you made the right choice in the beginning of the month by walking away from this situation or the fact that you still need to if you haven't already. But we're moving right along. Yeah, because it just feels like this is the point in the month where Spirit and the Universe is trying to communicate to you. Certain people, places, and situations will create blockages if they haven't already between you and that success. And they'll be damned if, if anybody gets in the way of that for you. Okay? Knight of Cups. So you make your way to finish up the first half of the month and wow, you're feeling passionate. You're feeling creative feeling, you know, more um, excited about your situation. They're saying don't let the past hold you back. We'll leave it at that. Ten of Swords. So you make your way to start the second half of the month, and uh, it's the end of struggling, my friend. It's the end of people in places and situations getting the best of you or keeping you from certain successes that you are obviously destined for in this lifetime. Being aligned with the two of cups is absolutely the end of people popping back up from the past when you're starting to su succeed, excuse me, when you're starting to achieve what they never gave you the credit or the you never they never saw your potential, my friend. That's coming through very, very clearly. And it's like, okay, so now that Libra is starting to succeed, now that Libra's starting to elevate, now that Libra's starting to glow a bit differently, now you want to come back? Hmm. And for those of you who this person is in your life currently, there's still the sense that they don't appreciate you for who you are, or they simply don't see that potential like Spirit and the Universe does. So it's time for you to start viewing, if you haven't already, how much potential you truly have 
so that you can leave certain people, places, and situations behind as you make your way to bigger and better things. It, and remember, the end of these situations or the end of maybe even old habits as well, viewing your situation in a negative way, it's all to keep you glowing. It's to keep you manifesting, to keep you in that right mindset, my friend. They want you to be able to make the best of all the success you have ahead of you. And it's like throughout this month, going back to the overall message, it's like you're even impressing yourself with being able to up and leave certain situations with all the success that's happening, with how good you are, what you do, whatever that is for your career on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like people surrounding you, even looking in from a distance, are like, wow, look at Libra. They got it going on. Not only are they successful in their career, in their unique approach, but they're glowing and they're attracting opportunities. They're attracting money. And it's like, of course, naturally, people are going to want to come back in and be like, oh, Libra, Libra. You trust your intuition, but I'm just saying. So it's the end of allowing other outside factors to um, affect your glow, my friend, which naturally affects your success moving forward. Death and rebirth. And so you make your way to the middle of the second half of the month. And there's this huge feeling that you're going through this death and rebirth. And naturally, when you go through that death and rebirth, my friend, and you evolve and change and elevate to those bigger and better things for yourself, you're going to be shedding people in situations from the past. It's natural. It's bound to happen. And remember, change is good. Change is good. And whoever and whatever is leaving your life, or your feeling is falling to the wayside as you change and grow and move towards success, if it's meant to be, it'll come back around, okay? And if that person or a group of people really, really is meant to be in your life and has your back at the end of the day, they'll support you in all that you're heading towards. Remember that. Being aligned with the High Priestess card, they're saying, you're growing, you're changing, you're becoming a more spiritual person, um, someone who trusts in the process, trusts in their inner uh, higher self, their inner voice, um, with trusting in where they're being led by spirit and universe. And look where it's uh, leading you. Look how it's turning out. Impressing everybody, including yourself. You know, when you impress yourself with the work you do, with the changes you're, you have courage to step up and make, wow, it says something. No wonder people are impressed by you. Four of Wands. So you finish off the month uh, feeling like celebrating, feeling good, feeling like, oh, I finally have a reason to celebrate within my career, within my finances. And it's like, Spirit's saying there have been plenty of small reasons up until this point, or even bigger than small, to celebrate, but you just, you have such a large vision for yourself. You have such, so many goals. You put a lot of pressure on your own shoulders at the end of the day, which needs to be worked on. But it's like you don't give yourself enough credit at the end of the day for all you've overcome, for all that you've succeeded with, for all you've achieved. And so at the end of this month, let this be a moment where you start celebrating more, celebrating the little successes, celebrating all that you've achieved up until this point once again. Not allowing it to be such big successes for you to be like, go me, or treat yourself, you know? But they're saying that moving through, you know, making your way to the end of March, you're gonna start to feel like there's a new sense of balance coming back into your life because you're letting go of things that aren't working for you anymore and you're heading towards, again, bigger and better things. Be with the Knight of Cups. They're saying celebrate your passion, your newfound passion for life, for your situation, for all the success you deserve. Celebrate you. All right. I just saw two people cheersing and going, go me. <laughs> A big part of this month as well is you need to start viewing yourself in the way other people view you, Libra in a higher regard, you know, seeing you as somebody who can literally accomplish anything, overcome anything. Viewing yourself um, moving forward as somebody who deserves all the success, deserves this fame, this fortune that you are destined for in this lifetime. You're a Libra. Wow. Getting goosebumps, my friends. Let's uh, continue by pulling a soul's journey card or two. Our lovely Librans. Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things.
staying optimistic optimistic this month is truly essential for you and um remember keep speaking from the heart getting your voice out there it's truly essential at this time and then um denial acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the inside of awareness those of you who are afraid of it's like you're afraid of succeeding or you're afraid of going after something and it falling flat because that's happened in the past but let the past be the past once again and work through those fears uh, dig for that inner courage and strength to go for what you deserve okay it's time to not let your fears get in the way self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others as this month goes on libra your self-esteem your self-worth is going to go up and up and up all right and that's the way it should be because that's the way people view you and so just feel good about all your achieving feel good about you once again celebrate you let's finish off this beautiful reading by pulling a message or two from the making magic deck for our beautiful librans to wrap up this reading Ooh. beautiful and interestingly enough as we just to continue that note self-confidence strong self-belief and a sense of worth just to reiterate what i just said my friend you got it going on trick of five manifesting money and income love it love it reminding you once again the power of your beautiful libra mind um you have the ability and you will manifest all of the money the income these new opportunities that you desire that you deserve at this time and look at this five 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 all about change um clearing the way making room for all that you deserve my friend so this month continue moving forward continue impressing uh, everybody around you as well as yourself Alrighty, libra so if this reading was truly helpful don't forget to like this video leave me a comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i hope you have the most amazing uh, month and i'll see you next time bye